Deanna here from Futures Past Boutique and today I'm going to show you a historical ex explanation of the Industrial Ref Revolution and slave labor in the cottage industry in Germany. So these um, antique dolls were all made in Germany probably uh, in the uh, late 1800s, late Victorian time and they were all made in what's known as the cottage industry. Cottage industry was when the huge factories employed home workers, mostly women and children, to make uh, components of each one of the items that their factory was uh, making. So for example, each one of these dolls were made in pieces by separate people. Whole families, including children, would sit in their uh, living rooms or their kitchens and make each component of each one of these dolls. So somebody would make the bodies of the dolls, another person would uh, make the hand-blown glass eyes, another person would sew the wigs, another person would make the clothing, and it went on and on and on. And they were paid by the piece. So the more output, the more money they made. And these people were very poor and treated very harshly. And it was basic basically slave labor. Children as young as four years old used to toil for 12 to 14 hours a day, six to seven days a week, and uh, they were uh, paid pennies, sometimes even just one penny for each one of the pieces they made. And they would bring um, the items to the factory that were finished in wagons and get paid uh, for how much output they made. It was a very hard life. None of these people had it easy. These people would toil hours on end and couldn't even stop for a break. The workers in the factory were also mistreated and worked for 12, 14 hours a day, six to seven days a week. And it was all in the name of profit and quantity. We have here a German lowbrow China head doll probably uh, circa 1890. She has her original dress, which was um, put together by families. Here's another circa 1900, 1910 German uh, baby doll, bisque head. And again, the families toiled for hours and hours just to make each component. This particular one is a Kessner doll and she's uh, probably circa 1890-1900. She has her original dress made out of cotton and organdy and lace. The one in the back is an Armand Massé doll and she's wearing a regional folklore costume which is original. And again, whole families sweated away in misery just to make these little dolls. Life wasn't easy during the Victorian era, and whole families got involved just to keep food on the table and a roof over their heads. It wasn't until the shirt, uh, the Triangle Shirt Waste Factory fire in New York City in the textile industry where women had to jump out of the windows of these big high-rise buildings um, during a fire, um, <clears throat> toiling away seven days a week, sometimes uh, 12, 14 hours a day um, before they started to uh, come up with workers' rights. So many women lost their lives for the sake of money that finally there was reform and it started in America. So once again, thank you for watching my video and have a great day. And check back because I'll be uploading more videos soon.